all. First registered crew home. Bet you didn't expect this last night. No, not last night or first thing this morning because we did the first stage with a slipping clutch. So I had to back off and we dropped a, a minute, just about a minute through the first stage. And we managed to keep it going all day. It's been hard work on the road sections because <clears throat> we got rid of the slipping clutch for them. We had virtually no clutch at all for the road section, so no, no pedal travel. So we had to try and keep moving at traffic lights and roundabouts and couldn't stop. What a drama, what a drama. But you're pleased to see the finish. Yeah, I, I never thought we'd, we'd get here and to be on the podium and maximum. Championship points is great. Fantastic. Now, apart from the slipping clutch, how have you found the handling of your car this weekend? You really happy with it? Yeah, the car's been fantastic. We, uh, we managed to beat the bogey on three stages. Uh, I think the tyres went off a bit on the last couple, so our times dropped off a bit. But we did enough to take the points and just keep Johnny Greer behind us for third overall. Johnny, tell us about your weekend. Yeah, it's been a good weekend. I've really enjoyed the rally all yesterday and today. It's been every stage has been there's always been something to laugh about at the end of every stage. <laughs> it's, it's always done something stupid on it, but uh, no, it's been it's been a great weekend. The puncher midday and that dropped us a minute, so without that we could have been maybe a podium place, but so that's the rally I like. So no, enjoyed all weekend, so I'm very happy with it. Good, good. And obviously you were using this as a test ahead of um, the three tarmac rounds in the British Championship, which you actually lead. Uh, you happy with your setup? Yeah, I think so. We changed a few things. Friday night the car was very stiff and over the bumps it wasn't handled at all. So we changed a few things and made the car a bit better. So it's definitely worth coming here for the experience. Fantastic. And how have your time to compare against Keith today? It's not great, like, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, Keith, in this, on this place, Keith's on a different league. I mean, his last year he was able to, you know, he was racing Higgins in this place, which nobody else has done. So he, uh, he was taking big chunks of time out of me. But we're, we're having a good race with Weston and with uh, Thorburn as well. So, you know, it's... Someone keep us interested, so happy enough. All right, fantastic. Well, good luck for the rest of the season anyway. All right, thank you. Last night, we've sort of uh, stopped for a minute and a half on two stages, separate occasions. So we've had a real... A real good fight back, so um, it's just a pity we couldn't match Damien, um, but we've had a good battle with Mark all day and uh, enjoyed it, yeah, it's been good. Fantastic, and how have you found the car over here? Superb, absolutely superb, superb. Not too nervous? Not at all, no, it's spot on, it's, uh, we can't get any better, it's fantastic. Brilliant, so what were the problems last night? Uh, me, uh, <laughs> rubbish at handbraking really, and uh, stole the car and stuff like that, so, so we've just sort of settled down and, you know, got back into a rhythm and uh, yeah it's been fantastic really enjoyed it all right fantastic many thanks all right thanks for your help Good. cheers so here is confirmation of the top 10 at the end of this difficult event after round two this is how the championship looks john stone now leads with 40 points with teammate mark jasper close behind on 37 chris marshall lies in third place with damien cole and peter lloyd in equal four the championship now moves north for round three to the Jim Clark Rally on the Scottish borders. Another spectacular closed road rally. You can see our coverage of that event on the 26th of June. But for now, we'll leave you with a few highlights from the Manx National Rally. Thanks for watching. See you next time.